Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Dominion Gaming TV. My name is Wolf, and I am bringing to you some more HSL action. Ladies and gentlemen, I am bringing to you match two of Bowen High School versus Nazareth College. Let's introduce our players this morning. As the red in the top right hand side on Cloud Kingdom, we have ourselves Caution playing for Bowen High. Spawning in the bottom left, we have ourselves the other Terran, the only other Terran that is on this map and who will be playing in this series. He is Orange. His name is Erased, playing for Nazareth College. Alright, so we have ourselves a TVT on Cloud Kingdom. I don't see this often, really, because every time I play Cloud Kingdom on Ladder as Terran, I get a Protoss who Blinkstalker obs me, and then I die because I'm terrible at the game. But, that's beside the point. Surprisingly, the, the supply posts are really even. And he's doing a, a scout, even though. Oh, this, that's a really early scout. He's going to be proxying, is he? Is that going to be a proxy? Has to be a proxy. And it is! So, getting the uh, barracks at the exact same time, the uh, sending out the scout for Erased. Now, uh, I do remember trying to cast this game a long time ago, uh, when I was first trying to do the cast for the, the HSL, and uh, I remember s screwing up, it screwing up halfway, or it always screw up halfway through the, uh, the cast, so let's hope it doesn't do that. But uh, I, I cannot remember this game to save the life of me. Like, I honestly don't remember anything at all about any of the games, which is, I guess, a good thing about my uh, d uh, not doing anything. Now, Erased has to know uh, that something is up simply because uh, he hasn't scattered any barracks. Uh, getting a tech lab here for his, uh, for his barracks and the the orbital command is on the way but no orbital command actually no orbital command just starting for caution caution probably going to be going for some sort of marauder attack or reapers reapers are still viable but no getting that marauders those marauders uh... it is marauders are good against early marines uh... only in the early stages of the game where they're in really low numbers uh, the marauders can beat them especially with the concussive shells uh... so that will be handy for him now uh... I wonder what he's going to uh, open up with uh, after that. Now the uh, the factory is on the way, as well as a sad face for raised. And oh my god! <coughs> okay, now continuing. Uh, sorry about that. And <laughs> apparently an SCV died. That it must have. I don't know. Anyway, roars are now on the way, being produced by caution. And god damn it, this sneezing I can sense. <laughs> I'm highly sorry. Wow. Okay. Okay. I should be good. Second Marauder is now out as well as the factory about to complete up here. Now, uh, so, uh, the Marine will now scout it. The, uh, probably go gonna be moving up this, uh, SCV to place down a bunker. And now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, sneezing is very annoying. Now, setting up the uh, bunker at the top of the ramp will be the best thing you can do. The SCV is actually going to be able to get us around here. Actually, going to be able to uh, capture both of these, uh, if not one, at least one of these uh, marauders. <coughs> one of the marauders die, and that's basically it wasted. Uh, he did no damage, didn't even get one kill. The bunker is now up at the top of the ramp, and he cannot do anything. <coughs> The only thing that Caution could do is put down a bunker or two down at the uh, natural so that he, he cannot expand safely. It's the only thing I could see him being able to do. Otherwise, that he will not be able to poke up the top of that ramp with only two Marauders. And more than likely, that's what he's going to be doing. He's going to be lifting up the barracks and bringing it over. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, for high ground vision. Okay. Now, uh, I guess that's handy enough uh, for the high ground vision I learned. Now going to be able to get one or two hits, but at least move that and keep that barrack to a safe distance or else he will die. Oh no! The SCV dies on building the bunker and that all of that was for nothing. That, that was a massive delay there. Now the uh, second command center is on the way as well as getting probably going for Banshees here. Uh, let's have a look what he gets. 
banshees. All right, getting is getting two backs now at home, as well as having that command center ready to take his natural. He uh, he will be able to scout absolutely everything, and including the Vikings and including the Hellions and uh, the Tech Lab and all that. He'll be able to scout everything, uh, just using it to scout uh, purely. Uh, now the tech lab will be staying over here to deny, deny any possible uh, fifth, lo fifth or fourth location for a raised. Now uh, the two banshees are on the way. I wonder if he's going to get cloak with that. Uh, there's a possibility that he will, uh, but I don't think so. Actually, he has enough. Just have a, has enough for it in a moment. Either way, he's not getting a Viking instead of that second banshee. The tech lab is now completed for that barracks. We'll be getting that stim as well as getting the reactor for the base. Now, a medevac coming over here, possibly going to be going for some sort of drop here. Luckily, it wasn't scattered by anything. A bugger is, will be placed down now at the main. And going to be able to. He's not actually scattered to be seen anything yet. Uh, he actually does. Uh, no, he does see it. And you'll be moving in here, putting on a bit of hurt. The Viking will be able to kill off the medevac as soon as possible. But may lose some air CVs here. Going to be able to uh, kill as many, much thing, as many things as possible with that Banshee. The Banshee will be able to kill everything, uh, but he will lose some air CVs in the process and some Marines. So it it was kind of an even trade, but really Arrays uh, uh, no sorry caution came out ahead simply because of the fact that he killed off the medevac, he killed off all the units, and he only lost like one or two things. Now. The uh, turrets are now being placed around his base because uh, Banshees are a bit of a pain. I'm actually surprised he hasn't expanded yet. He does have the, uh, the order command. I guess the order command did just finish, so he will be able to float it over whenever he is ready. Uh, Erased is now getting the, uh, the stim upgrade as well as the uh, siege tank mode and getting the reactor. The siege tank mode? The siege tech and he is now getting a reactor for his starport. A bit of dancing around the map here with these uh, marauders going to be able to kill off that uh, hellion. The hellion will be able to move around and he does see where that hellion is so he'll be able to trap it up on the top of the ramp if he really wanted to or at least kill it with the banshee. The ba he won't actually kill anything uh, unluckily. Now the, the marauders will be over here at the watchtower be able to scout absolutely everything that comes out of this ramp at least. The natural is now has now gone down so uh, he will be able to mine these SCVs going back to the original command center simply because it's a better command center. Like seriously why would you want to mine at the natural? Mining at the natural is so overrated. Skin going down to be able to scout out that the natural is now down as well as double gas on the natural. Uh, double gas has been down for some time and in fact been uh, fully saturated on the natural base for caution uh, for quite some time as well. Plus one is now on the way for uh, caution and always completed for a raised right now. A whole load of units are just coming out right now. Basically, this is all that TVT is. It's uh, build marines, build tanks, build a lot of tanks, build some Vikings, build some banshees, build some medevacs, and then let's see who, do who does who does the best. That's essentially all that it is. Uh, sometimes you get a making player, but mainly buy 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 a tank really. And uh, now a third command center is uh, on the way for caution here as well as a raised in fact a raised uh, third uh, third command center will be done uh, a lot earlier pushing down into the third here be able to do as much as you can actually getting some volleys down onto that uh, viking so the viking is on lower health but will be repaired as soon as possible over command on that third as well the uh, siege tank uh, siege tech has already been done for some time for a race but is now currently about halfway for caution and uh, combat stim uh, on those marines uh, for our orange player will be very handy indeed a whole load of upgrades right now getting the uh, a second engineering bay as well as an armory and a reactor for something or other more than likely for a barracks now a drop is that coming down a drop I'm confused where was the How did that marine get him? I should have seen it if there was something. Oh well, I was confused as you. Now, uh, plus two armor, uh, plus one armor is on the way for caution at that uh, these engineering bays up here at the back. Armory just finishing up. 
just gonna be getting a whole bunch of units then maybe pushing out the armory is now just starting for arrays and uh, third base going down um, and we'll be able to do we'll be able to get that economic lead which he's had all day uh, and all game and uh, so just gonna be able to it's a very passive game really just gonna be saying hey what do you want to do just gonna poke at you? Okay, well I'm gonna go back and expand now because I don't really want to fight. The uh, tech lab is now has been taken out because of these Vikings. Plus two attack is on the way for caution. Uh, and it hasn't even been started for erased really. And at the moment, uh, caution is in the economic and upgrade advantage. But look at the units, he is slightly behind in the economy. Uh, is probably a little bit ahead in the army as well. Yeah, is it? What is it? Control A. Yeah. So currently, uh, even on the worker supply, and slightly ahead in the army supply. Now, uh, plus one uh, weapons uh, for the tanks is now on the way for both of our players. Very similar timings, in fact. Uh, Going to be getting an extra factory to be able to produce out more tanks uh, when needed. Uh, the uh, looks like Caution does want to move out on the map as well as Erased. Erased more than likely just going to be moving out just to be able to secure his third safely. Uh, again, and again, this is really delayed. The third base is now fully saturated and so is the natural. The, f the main isn't as uh, saturated just to keep the mi mineral mining as much as possible. Uh, so I'm actually quite surprised of... Uh, how that went, no, but no, Array's looking out to be expanding behind that, going to be pushing out across the map. Uh, if Caution can set up here, no, he actually doesn't have that many units. Where is all his units? They're spread out across the map. Uh, there's actually a lot of Marines. If uh, uh, Array's wants to come in here, he'll be able to do whatever he wants, and these Vikings will be able to do whatever they want because there's more of them, but the Marines will sit in here and take off uh, two of the... Uh, Two of the uh, the Vikings, but the Marines just uh, about were stim in into some siege tanks, and I don't know why they're fighting here. There's all the siege tanks; they'll just be able to stim and probably kill off these tanks, but no, just not enough because of the Marine upgrades they have. Now these Marines are over uh, do have the advantage over here over at the top, but the uh, siege tanks will be, be picked up and go back home. The uh, Medivax Four Caution were picking up its units to be able to drop down on top of those siege tanks, but uh, Array is realizing what he had to do and to get away from that. Plus one attack, uh, plus three attack, as well as plus two now on the way for Caution coming from his uh, engineering base. Uh, and really, Arrays just lost a lot in that. I was actually surprised how cost effective that uh, Caution fought in that battle. Now, uh, there is a whole load of production happening right here, right now, for uh, Arrays. He is behind on the upgrades by quite a fair bit, actually. He, uh, the plus two attack is now just starting, uh, where has Caution has had it for quite some time. He's going to be pushing out across the map again, feeling that he has the bigger army, but not really. In fact, Caution is going to be moving down around the bottom of the map uh, to c take the third. This actually could be quite painful for both of the players, uh, but then again, uh, 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 Caution does have some uh, forces back at the back of the base. Uh, the sensor tower will scout that this is happening and uh, realizes, Arrays realizes that he needs to get back as soon as possible. Plus two, plus two, uh, vehicle attack is uh, actually identical again. Going to be denying the mining at the third base here for some time again. So that economic lead is so far ahead. Marines and tanks just thinking, hey, let's just go counterattack and try and take out his third. But I don't think this is the smartest idea that he could have. Uh, uh, Caution knows absolutely everything that is happening. And we have to set up his siege tanks on top of the ramp and we'll have the uh, the upgrade advantage and we'll have the positional up advantage and we'll be able to kill everything. The tanks will be able to get good burst down onto everything. The, his marines are pretty clubbed up but we'll be able to take out all of his marines before the uh, uh, Array's uh, tanks can do anything. And Array's has no, no, uh, has had no vision of the high ground, loses all of his tanks. Apparently Caution did not leave the game yet. Uh, but Losing, uh, losing this battle, losing all his marines and his high ground advantage. These tanks will just be able to put on a hole and a hurt. Meanwhile, uh, Caution was able to uh, take out the take out the third, and it was about to drop into the main of Erased. GG was called. 
So game one of match two goes to caution. Bowen High currently 1-0 ahead of Nazareth. And if caution can 2-0 here, he'll be able to take them to the finals. Uh, if Arrays can get the victory, then uh, he'll take it to a third game, a third match. Or if he can win this game and the next game, he'll be able to take it to a third match where they'll be uh, be able to decide whether or not um, Nazareth College or Baldwin High make it through to the finals. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. My name is Wolf. See you guys next time.